What's your excuse? Hey, Dan YouTube, it's Will from Will Development, and today is my 70th weekly update. If you're wondering why I'm wearing this trench coat and hat, it's because I'm working on a Rorschach cosplay, and I don't have my face yet. But, that's not what you're here for. I'm going to jump right into the nitty gritty of it. Body weight this week, like I thought would happen, predicted it last week, because I think I'm starting to finally understand my body pretty, pretty well here. I thought I would start to plateau right around 180 with the amount of food that I'm eating versus the amount of uh, exercise I'm doing, basically, how much calories I'm putting out versus putting in. And I did, I stagnated right around 178 this week, staying steady below 180, which is right where I want to be. Body fat is staying right around 8 to 9%, which is perfectly all right by me, right where I want it. And diet has been great. Just great. I think I'm going to stick right where I'm at. And I'll probably do a video on my dieting. I'm actually going to change things just a little bit. Uh, because even though I had what I might actually call a perfect week in terms of strength gains, size gains, and all that business, I always like to change things up, see if it can be better. Because although I think it's perfect, there's no such thing. So I might do something different. So next week I'm going to switch things up a little bit and I'm actually going to start adding different types of proteins into my diet as a steady thing. Now, I mean, I've been known to eat eggs in the morning versus just having my yogurt, uh, you know, and having a, a burger at night versus a protein shake. You know, I, I vary my proteins, but I don't do it throughout the day. Throughout the day I still stay steady with my chicken as my main source of meat protein. So I'm going to switch that up and I'm actually going to start adding, you know, beef one meal, chicken one meal, maybe even ham, you know, just different types of meats and even beans mixed in over here instead of any kind of meat, get some plant proteins in there, why not? See what the hell happens, I think it'll help. I just want to see, because uh, my digestion has been fine, but I've been feeling a little sluggish every once in a while, so I think if I change up the diet a little bit, even add a little bit of different types of fiber in there, it might make me happier. But enough about shits and giggles, onto the real good shit. So, I hit some PRs this week. It was very exciting just a few moments ago. I, I took the day off work today. Uh, and just a few minutes ago, I broke through a plateau. But you know me, I like to go in order, so we will we'll get to that. So, workout day one, I hit overhead press. Hit a new PR of... 140 for one. Now, the most I've ever put over my head is one, 140, I think. I think I may have put 145 at one point in my life, but I want to say 140 is the heaviest I've ever gone. So, I'm finally right back to where I used to be. And on the same day, I did squats, and my new PR for squats was 225, so I got two plates on squats, finally. And that's good. It felt strong. I mean, you'll see it right there, what's going on. I don't exactly remember. I think I felt strong through it. I felt strong through most of my PRs this week, honestly. Uh, then, workout two, my main PR was bench. Hit 225 also for one, so my bench and my squat are the same weight, which is kind of sad, but I've got baby bitch legs, so what can I do? And I'm working on it. I was only supposed to hit 220 on Wednesday. But, you know, what ended up happening is the bar felt light that day. I hit 220 for two, and it felt easy. So, you see, I hit the 225, and it was pretty solid. I you know, not a lot of uh, weakness throughout the movement. And today, I was so happy, I didn't even realize I did it, even though I talked about it last week. My plateau for deadlift has been 335. That's, you'll see in this video, where, or no, you won't. I was going to try to get the video of me failing at 335 at the Strength Camp Challenge. Rough failing. It was such a rough fail that they actually put it in the compilation video, so, yay me. That's not what's important. What's important is, fuck it, I finally pulled it today, and it felt pretty goddamn easy. I pulled two, 255, and it felt heavy as shit, and then I just threw on 335 and just went for it, and it felt easy. Followed that, that up with drop sets down to 315, 225, and 135. 
with one rep, four reps, and 12 reps at 135. Just boom, boom, boom. Really trying to work on these hamstrings. Really want my deadlift to be a stronger lift. Because uh, bench, bench and like pulling exercise has always been stronger, but my deadlift compared to other people I'm seeing is pretty weak. So I want that to be higher. I want to get to 400 pretty quick here. Look, I'm running out of time. Hit some PRs this week. Try to cosplay like Rorschach. And if you don't, Oh, actually, if you don't check out the video of Big Nate and I making some sandbags, then what's your excuse?